Um, today I'm going to be doing my first video tutorial and it is how to make uh, Windows games work on Mac. Um, I've been trying to find a solution for this for a long time and I think I finally found one that actually works. Um, we're going to be using a program called Wineskin. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Wineskin site and download it. I'll put the link in the description below. So let's go to downloads. Um, click right here. Um, once it's done, there we go. You're going to download it, unzip it, and it will download it to your downloads folder, most likely. Um, I've already downloaded mine. Um, as you can see, it's right here. So let's go ahead and open that. And what you're going to have to do is install a new engine. So you're going to click the plus button, click the list, and you want the newest version of Wineskin. And you're going to click download and install. I already have that as well, so I don't need to do that. And now you're going to do a new blank wrapper. So go ahead and click right here. And you want to call it whatever name the game is that you would like to install so as you can see right here um, I currently have a Madden 07 disc inserted so I'm gonna be downloading Madden 07 so I'm gonna say Madden NFL 07 click OK All right, now it's going to start creating my new wrapper. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to install this. Um, and it has always worked just fine for me to not install it. So go ahead and just click cancel. I don't have any problems with this at all. So you should be fine. All right, here we go. Now it's created it. Um, so we want to go ahead and view the wrapper and finder. Um, as you can see right here is the wrapper I've created. Um, you can see I've already successfully installed Madden, um, NBA 2K11, um, The Hobbit, and I've also done other games like uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, so now what you need to do is go ahead and open this app that you've created, the Madden NFL 07, um, and you're going to install Windows software, and it's going to pop up this box. You're going to locate your exe file that you're going to use to install it. So I, in my case, I go to the disk, and I'm looking for this file right here, the Madden 07 exe. Go ahead and choose that. Um, real quick, I'll show you. This is the disk, and if I do try to run this excuse me, right now, um, it's going to say it can't do it. So it was trying to extract it. Anyway, so this popped up. I want to install it. So I'm going to click right here. Okay. Just wanted me to close other running programs. Um, hang on one second while I enter my installation code. Alright, here we go. I've entered my installation code. Go ahead and hit next. And um, you do not need to install this because I have already have it installed. It just currently can't recognize that I do. So go ahead and hit no. You might have different options when you're installing your game um, or program. This also works with uh, other programs as well. Um, but you're just going to have to kind of play it by ear and use a little bit of your own computer knowledge. Um, I want to install as a typical user. And do not want to register right now. Um, I do not care about the online components, so I'm going to hit no. And now it is going to install. Um, it takes a little bit of time, so I'll be back in a few. It is now finished. Um, real quick, it needs to install the EA downloader. So we got to give this a second for this to install as well. Try to do this as quick as possible. Um, it is going to install to your desktop most likely um, some random files that uh, will not play um, on a Macintosh and so um, 
you can just go ahead and delete these files um, whenever you want. I always try to like to keep my desktop as clean as possible. All right. Now you can go ahead and close that. Um, your Madden, whatever the name of the app was, um, and go ahead and it's going to in the back open up executable file and so basically what this is is it doesn't know what is the app actual exe file that will actually run the game so in my case it's this main app one you might need to experience or experiment with it a little bit um, and if you choose the wrong one I'll show you how to get back into this menu um, alright click OK after you choose the right one um, if you need to ever change that you just click advanced and it's right here and you can browse for the right one um, but there's one more thing you need to do right here um, under set screen options you want it to be full screened so you're going to click the full screen option and I figured out that on my computer I need to change it to this resolution and it will work correctly um, go ahead and quit that you can close wineskin um, one more thing needs to be done before we run it because uh, wineskin is running it inside it can't recognize that the disk is in so if I try to open it it's going to give me a no disk air um, it needs a disk in order to run um, so what you're gonna have to do hang on real quick I'll show you this air it pops up right there please insert the correct CD-ROM plus ok to restart so um, you can go ahead and quit it and um, what you need to do there we go what you need to do is go find a no CD crack and because I own the disk this is perfectly legal but I'm gonna go ahead and Google uh, Madden uh, 07 no CD crack right here um, and it's gonna be this one right here in my case it's gonna be different depending on what you're installing but you should be able to find um, a crack for it that allows you to have no CD um, Go ahead and install this. Here, I can go ahead and close this window. Right here, skip add, download. It's going to be a RAR file. Um, so you're going to um, need to uh, have a program such as an archiver to. Uh, unarchive it, but it's going to open a folder. After you archive it, it's going to open a folder right here. And it's going to have this main app, and what you need to do is go in and replace the main app inside of this. So show package contents. Um, you're going to go into Drive C and uh, go into Program Files, into whatever your main folder is, into the game. And then right here, you can see there's that main app. So I'm just going to drag and drop this one into here and replace it. And there's one last thing I'm going to do. Um, as you can see right now, uh, this is a really ugly icon. If I show you a preview of it, I don't want that uh, wineskin icon. I want an actual Madden related icon. So I'm going to go ahead and Google um, Madden 07 cover. And um, let me images. This one right here looks good. Full size image. Go ahead and right click on it and copy your image. And now, what you want to do is right click on this, go to Get Info, and you can change the icon by clicking on the icon and doing Apple V or Paste. And it will change the icon. As you can see, now it has that Madden icon. And I think you're all ready to go now. You can go ahead and run that game. Um, real quick, if you ever need to change your options again, you just go show package contents. And then right here, you open this wine skin right here. And you can set screen options. So I can change it to my full screen resolution. And go ahead and run the app. Let's make sure it works real quick.
EA Sports. It's in the game. There we go. It looks like it's working well. Um, let's see if we can start a game. Got music. Play now. Looks to me like this is working pretty well. Well, guys, it looks like it worked great. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you like my video, and it will help encourage me to make more videos in the future. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching.